Hi, so anyways, um, I'm going to continue with this Vlogmas thing, <laughs> even though it was a super stressful day. Um, I just started work. I got through almost my first shift and a transformer went in the neighborhood and it was a big pop, which is actually really funny because this is a really long story. So but it's Vlogmas, so why not just tell it, right? So um, anyway, uh, since July, I've been having like massive um, problems with the electricity here. Um, and it's basically to do with the pipe that goes up to feed my line. Um, and it keeps blowing these breakers that are down underneath the power meter. So anyways, um, it was a couple of days I, I didn't have power here and there and stuff like that. And I work for a platform, so I don't actually have like a real job. Like I'm, I'm a contractor and, you know, freelancer. Um, and uh, so I missed a couple of shifts due to power outages from that. Um, and then there was a couple of hurricanes. Um, luckily, actually, I don't think I missed any shifts because of the hurricane which is crazy, but people actually pick those up um, because we're allowed to, you know, drop shifts and other people pick them up. So um, the big problem came um, early November, actually during, actually <laughs> late October, early November, actually my birthday too. Um, so I was six days without power at all. And I had to buy a cooler. I had to buy a propane stove. I had to buy all kinds of stuff that I really wasn't expecting to buy. And I was hoping to buy other things like a new computer um, because basically when the power is off, this computer that I'm on right now is a gaming computer and it sucks a lot of power. Um, so I do have like one of those battery bank surge protector things, um, which everybody should have if you work online. You definitely need that. The problem is, is that this computer is too powerful for that. And it literally lasts like about four minutes before it sucks it dry. <laughs> anyway, so, um, but yeah, I ended up buying a whole bunch of other stuff. And I was hoping work would be kind of understanding about that because I have worked for the platform for like probably four years now. Um, but that didn't happen. And I ended up getting a warning uh, about two weeks ago. And so I'm literally only allowed two more reported absences and one without reporting, like so one dark shift, which I never do. So that's whatever it is, right? Anyways, I'm sorry about the fake background here, but it's better than my room. Anyways, I was hoping to do this earlier in the day, but like I said, it was a stressful day. Um, so back to topic. Um, so right after my shift, I had just, picked up my computer yesterday. Like, so I got a new computer. Um, the downside is, is that the computer that was best suited for me, that's something I could afford without breaking the bank um, and going into debt or anything like that was basically completely in Spanish. Now my Spanish is pretty good. Like, don't get me wrong. My Spanish is pretty good, but like to literally, you know, use the computer all in Spanish like for commands and stuff like that. It's like, it's a little, it's a little daunting. So I was going to do that after my shift today. Um, but obviously that isn't what happened because of the transformer that blew. And I think what probably happened is that an animal went in there, but thankfully, okay. So there's a, like a good side of this. Um, we're on two transformers in my little block of houses. So when a transformer goes, we just have partial power. Um, so there's still a little power. It's just not the full voltage, which is actually, like I say, it's not that bad. Like, um, anyways, <laughs> I ended up um, in the middle of like, basically um, my shifts are four. Um, so I got, you know, four shifts in two hours of a half hour each. Um, so two of the middle ones, I ended up setting up this new computer completely in Spanish. 
and uh, trying to get it set up for work and get everything on it that I needed. Um, I was actually ready after a half hour, but then I realized that there was a program that I didn't download that I needed. I didn't specifically need it for the shift, the type of shift I had, but just in case it changed to a different shift, which happens sometimes. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but anyways, basically it was one of those things. I need to have it in my computer because sometimes they switch shifts on us if, if we go into wait time and then they will allocate a shift to us. And I didn't have that specific program in my computer yet. Um, so it took me an hour, even though it really just took me a half hour, but it was kind of nice to have that extra half hour to test it all out. <laughs> if, I <still> have a, <laughs> if I still have a job, we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> then uh, my private lesson got pushed back quite a bit later in the day. Um, and so, yeah, and then my animals have been acting kind of crazy, but they're probably just picking up on my stress levels. So yeah, so basically I was hoping to do something earlier in the day so I could kind of show you like my dreads and <laughs> do things that I wanted to do, but obviously I couldn't, you know, I kind of have like already, it's like day two of Vlogmas, <laughs> happy Vlogmas, <laughs> the crappiest Vlogmas ever. Um, but it's funny, it's two days into this and I have like a whole new respect for YouTubers because it's actually not easy when you have like a super crappy day and you know what I mean and you know you're applying for jobs and you're doing all kinds of stuff that you really didn't think you'd be doing when you woke up in the morning um but you know the fact that they can just keep doing this every single day you know is crazy although I do know a lot of them like pre-record stuff which I'm not going to do because like I say this will never be monetized nothing I do here is ever going to be um, that type of stuff, because I kind of like the fact that, you know, it's kind of nice just talking to people and just being real and not having an agenda, because I think we're all kind of sick of that. Um, at least I am. Um, so like most of the time now, it's funny, like on YouTube, um, my main thing that I've been watching like the most is like kind of like bushcraft things. And uh you know, camping videos, <laughs> you know, uh, just anything that's like somewhat relaxing because I'm kind of like done with so much stuff. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Bushcraft all the way. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is my second video for Vlogmas. So I'm actually recording this on Zoom so I don't have to do like a live one I can do live like that's not a problem it's just um live is a little bit trickier um just with this setup because you know um because I had to switch the computers around so the one I was on last night is still this one um but now my bed's behind me because my work computer is in the same space where the wall is um you can see my wall wow that actually looks kind of cool I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing the ocean um, <laughs> Uh, anyways, I, I anyway, I, I don't know if anybody's actually going to enjoy this video or even follow it. It's just my brain, my brain puking out stress from the day. Um, <clears throat> but if you're watching, I'm glad you're watching. And it's always nice um, to hear from old friends. I've heard from a couple already, which has been really cool. Um, some of you I haven't heard from in ages. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the best part of casting and you know and I, I actually I have been planning on casting on Bon live more often but the problem is with that is the OBS um I mean I can set it up I just have to set it up again it's just it's a, it's a bit of work to get all the settings correct um I do have XSplit in my computer because I have like that lifetime XSplit thing whatever but I find XSplit um is a little like it's actually quite a bit laggy it's a big program you know what I mean like and not that my internet's bad it's not I have two internet connections and they're quite good um but they're not Canadian internet <laughs> you know what I mean like so 
the internet speeds I had before um, were quite a bit easier to accommodate a bulky like program like that. Um, and OBS, I'd have to start out from scratch again, um, which I can do. Like I say, it's not a big, 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 big deal. It's just I've been mostly working seven days a week for a couple of reasons. So number one, I want to see my mom. I did book my ticket. So I do have a ticket now to Canada, which is amazing. <laughs> so, and that's been a long time coming um, because I've had just kind of a lot of things happen, <laughs> just life, <laughs> but not, not horrible. Like, you know, I'm, I haven't been out in the street or anything like that. I mean, I've got a house, I have options. I mean, I have a room I can rent out. I've got like lots of things I could do. Um, so I'm not at that point, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that are a lot harder off in these times right now. So, you know, I'm certainly not going to sit up here and complain about it because, you know, really, you know, as far as things go, I'm pretty lucky. Um, but yeah, so it's been like a long time coming to actually book that ticket and be able to go back home to see my mom who I haven't seen and since. 2019 um yeah so that part's been hard it's hard not being you know like I didn't plan well obviously nobody planned on the pandemic but you know like moving to Mexico um in early 2019 and I was here for the first six months and then I had to go back and do my immigration um to come here as a in a, a you know as a, on a work visa um and then that's you know soon after that's when the pandemic started so um, yeah, and I ended up going through a lot more savings than, you know, than I planned on. Um, I have been able to find pretty good work here, though. Like, you know, like, again, like, I'm not hard done by. There's a lot of people here that are not just here, but around the world that are, are a lot worse off. Um, but, you know, all said and done, like, I wasn't planning on coming to another country and not seeing my family for four years. So, you know, I was planning on going back a lot more regularly than actually happened. So, um, so I'm glad for that opportunity now, although I still don't know what I'm going to do with my pets, but that's another story. I guess I'll save that for another vlogmas. <laughs> we'll see. I do have like one really good person here that I used before. It's just, he's not exactly cheap. So we'll see. I've been applying for jobs though. And most of the jobs are better than the job I have. Well, it's not really a job. I could say I'm a contractor, but um a lot of them are better than what I have now so there's a possibility that you know that won't be a problem at, when the time comes because it's not that close it's like next year so um but yeah so I'm happy about that but yeah there's been a lot of stuff that's come up in the last <laughs> year or two that was unexpected and it's funny because actually during the pandemic um things were actually a bit easier to be honest because you know, um, my landlord at the time, I'm not in the same place anymore. They reduced my rent. And even though work reduced my pay, even though legally they weren't really allowed to, I mean, it just happened. It's Mexico. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they have minimum wage too. And I'm pretty sure like there's probably more than half that are supposed to be making it aren't. Um, so a lot of things are, you know, that are written in the law don't actually get followed. And that kind of happened to me because like my pay got cut in half, but at the same time, I was actually pretty lucky because I had found um, a roommate almost immediately after the shutdown. Um, so I had a roommate for almost the entire time. So to help me with the rent and my rent was reduced. Um, so like I said, it was actually pretty much the same. You know what I mean? So I was pretty much in the same bracket because what I was bringing in, you know, was relative to the amount I was spending. So it wasn't so bad. Whereas now with the, you know, with the American dollar going down, um, cause I'm paid in American <clears throat> and, you know, and things, I wouldn't say things are going up in Mexico. They're, they're not. The problem is, is that the peso is really, really, really strong. So you're making a lot less Well, I am. Um, but your exchange isn't going as far. And the thing is, is that everything is the same price or a little bit more. Now, it's not the same inflation that people are having in the United States, per se. Um, like I said, I do think it's a lot worse than other places, but I think it actually is a bit harder now. 
but like I say, I do have options. I live in a house, you know, I have an extra room if I need to rent it out. You know, I have other options I can do for work. Um, so it's not like dire. And the nice thing here is that being a teacher, you can always teach. Like there's always jobs you can find. It's just um, right now I'm trying to start my own business. <laughs> Every time I have time to go see my accountant because I don't really live in the city anymore. I'm kind of like out in the country. Sorry, every time I move my head, you can kind of see the back of my chair. Um, but I live out in the country. And so every time I have time to go see my accountant, um, because I don't live that close and I don't have a car either. So it's like I need to arrange um, for somebody to take me and stuff. I have two Uber drivers, though, and they're both amazing. They're both really reasonable with me and stuff. Um, but anyways, I, I, there's a few things I need to sort out to actually do my own business here legally. Um, I am set up, so all of my paperwork is done. So that's all been filed and changed with immigration and everything else. So my status is fine. Um, there's just a few details I need to finish up, um, to be able to bill people properly because billing here isn't as easy as just writing people a receipt and then claiming your tax at the end of the year. In Mexico, as a business owner, you pay your taxes every month. Um, and they're basically called like facturas. So you issue facturas for your customers. And then anything you buy for your business also goes against um, what you make and stuff like that. It's not technically always monthly, though. It depends on what the expense is. Sometimes they'll, they'll dole it out over a few months. Like for say, for instance, if you were buying a car and you were an Uber driver, you know what I mean? You would be able to write off a fraction of that like every month for like ever like so long, depending on the age of the vehicle and stuff like that. So the taxes are different. They're very different. They're very different to Canada and they're very different to the United States. They're actually very, very similar to the UK and like Britain. Um, you know, my mom used to live in Britain while my parents were both from Northern Ireland. Um, that's how taxes were done back then. I'm not sure about now because I haven't lived there in a very long time. Um, but but back um, when they lived there, um, yeah, it was that was how taxes were done. So there isn't any refund at the end of the year or anything like that. There's actually very little incentive for taxes too. Um, so that's the other side of it. Is that it's a little tricky, you know, when you're renting and stuff. Because, you know, like a lot of landlords don't want to issue facturas and stuff for you um, because they don't want to have to pay tax themselves on, on the income. Because basically everybody just pays 16%. So your customers pay you 16% and then everything you make, you pay 16% and then it's just how it works. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, but it's hard to get the facturas to balance what you're making because most people don't want to give you them unless they're a really big company the big companies are cool with it but the little ones are not so <laughs> yeah, it is what it is it's, you know it's a different country and it, but you know in some ways it's better some ways it's worse I, I mean I think taxation here is a lot fairer than it is in other places you know Canada especially like it the, the taxes there are crazy um, so no matter how I do things, it's still cheaper than running a business from Canada, you know, like, even though you do have more write-offs and stuff in like some years, you can actually kind of not get away with, you know, you can get away with not paying taxes or not too many. Um, I think overall, it's still easier and cheaper to run a business from here in some ways. It depends on the business though, because there's there's a bunch of different tax brackets. So for me, I'm just a freelance teacher. So for me, it's, it's, it makes more sense to do from here. But like I say, there's still stuff I've got to work out. And my accountant keeps going on vacation because he's kind of almost at the retirement age. So. But he's amazing. And he's done like great work for me. And, um, you know, he's been absolutely a rock for me um, in so many ways. So, you know, you know, if he's enjoying his life, I, I can't fault that. So, um, so maybe yeah, in a week or two, I can get that sorted out. If not after Christmas, but you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. And yeah, so 
Anyway, that's my Vlogmas video. It's probably way too much information. I should probably just keep it shorter. Maybe I should just stop this and do it over again. <laughs> oh, no. I'll just publish it. Um, anyway, so um, let me know if there's anything you're interested in seeing. Um, I, I did say I would show you my dreads in better lighting. This isn't terribly good lighting. This is actually just my overhead lighting. It just looks decent because of the ocean background, but um, it's not really good lighting. So we'll save that for another day. Um, but yeah, so have a great night. Happy Vlogmas. <laughs> the crappiest vlogmas ever and uh i'll see you tomorrow i guess anyways have a great night bye